Hello and welcome to another Electric World video featuring the latest news about EV World. This time, we will be discussing hot updates on the refreshed Tesla Model S and gigantic Elon full self-driving software. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. It helps you get notified when we post more content just like this. Let's get started. Tesla sends a brief update for Model S Plaid's customer deliveries. There have been a few delayed deliveries for the Tesla Model S Plaid, but now customers are starting to receive delivery dates for next month, as the new version of Tesla's flagship sedan is finally ready. In January, Tesla unveiled a refreshed version of the Model S and Model X that adds a new powertrain, new interior, and refreshed exterior design to Tesla's two flagships. When the new vehicles were unveiled, CEO Elon Musk said that deliveries would begin within a few weeks, placing the first deliveries in February. That didn't happen. There hasn't been any delivery of a new refreshed Model S reported by Tesla customers as of yet in May. During the announcement of Tesla's first quarter financial results for 2021, the automaker said that the first deliveries of the new Model S should begin very soon, and Musk said that he expects it will happen in the following month, which is now May. The reason for the delay, according to the CEO, is to ensure that the latest battery pack in the refreshed Model S is safe. We haven't known much since then, but it seems that things are now moving on. Customers who have put orders for the new Tesla Model S have reported that their arrival dates have been changing a lot recently. Several customers have now informed Electric that their Tesla advisors have accepted early June delivery dates. Two of those customers placed orders after Tesla revealed the new Model S Plaid in January and February, and one customer placed a new order for the Model S before the revealing. It is still possible that some Model S vehicles will be delivered in May, as Tesla had Model S vehicles on order from last year and may try to organize those deliveries. Model S owners who ordered before the new version was revealed in January are eligible for a $2,000 price adjustment, as the vehicle's price increased by about $10,000 with the new version. So we may see a few deliveries by the end of the month and certainly some in June. The next news is that Elon Musk updates Tesla FSD latest and subscription release. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has confirmed the schedule for the release of the next version of Tesla's full self-driving FSD beta program, as well as the expected FSD subscription model and claims that the difference between V8 and V9 of the FSD beta software would be gigantic. FSD is the company's self-driving software, which is currently only open to the general public as a set of semi-autonomous functions. It is currently in beta testing with a select group of drivers as Tesla works to ensure near-perfect operation without the need for human intervention before asking regulators for certification as a level 5 autonomous driving solution. FSD is only offered as an add-on before or after purchasing an electric vehicle. However, Musk has also stated that it will be available as a subscription in 2021. It's unknown if this will be offered as a fully functional product or as a semi-autonomous product. The development of the FSD beta has reportedly progressed rapidly, with Musk stating at the end of April that the next version 9 will be mind-blowing. However, as is always the case for Elon time, the two-week deadline has been prolonged. According to Musk, the key explanation for the delay is that Tesla's autonomous team determined that the visual component of its electric vehicle sensory equipment had advanced to the point where radar was effectively superfluous, as reported during the company's Q1 2021 earnings call in late April. 
in response to a question from Gary Black, an investment analyst, on when the FSD version 9 beta and subscription will be launched, Musk said on Wednesday evening, Australian time, we had to concentrate on removing radar and confirming safety. That release will be sent to US output next week. After that, Pure Vision FSD and version 9 beta will be released after a week or two of polishing. Gigantic difference between V8 and V9 is waiting. It's unknown when FSD will be available as a completely functional product. Tesla's public relations departments have been shut down, so Musk's presence on Twitter and in earnings calls is the only public face of the company. He is often asked for updates, and during the company's January conference call, he said that he was highly confident the car would be able to drive itself with reliability in excess of a human this year. It's really quite, quite tricky, he said on the company's Q1 2021 earnings call in April, but I am sure that we will complete this task. This was recently seemingly debunked by a memo obtained by Plainsight under a Freedom of Information Act request of a meeting regarding the extension of Tesla's Navigate on Autopilot on City Streets, colloquially known as FSD Beta, between Tesla's Director of Autopilot Software, CJ Moore, and California regulators. Elon's tweet does not fit engineering fact per CJ says the memo, summarizing a dialogue between four Tesla employees, including Moore, and regulators from the California Department of Motor Vehicles Autonomous Vehicles Branch. The California Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV, requested information on Musk's claims that level five autonomy will be available by the end of 2021 in the memo. According to the memo, Moore replied, Tesla is currently at level two. To progress to higher stages of automation, the driver interaction ratio will need to be on the order of one or two million miles per driver interaction. Level two applies to driver assist systems that are available to the general public, such as adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and lane changing assist. Smart Summon, a driverless capability designed for car parks and private roads, but with a personable to act from the outside of the vehicle using a smartphone, is another function available to FSD owners that do not seem to be included in the memo. Musk's messaging, according to Moore, was focused on extrapolating on the rates of change when speaking about the level five true autonomous driving without the need for human intervention capabilities, and that Tesla couldn't tell whether the rate of improvement would make it to level five by the end of the calendar year. That was all for today and the latest news we knew about Tesla, and thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla's next projects and Elon Musk or electric vehicles, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and subscribe to our Electric World channel for daily content just like this.